Oh, I have powers as well. I can use the inside thing. What do we have dust here? You are, and to dust you will return. Why do we keep saying things like a priest at a funeral when someone gets buried? It's like the third line now. The flame went out. Otter's knife? Ah, oh, tear this away. Uh, Polish Republic Ministry of Military Affairs. As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkovsky. He whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. <laughs> Hello, coffin. Jeez. It's the most grotesque scene yet to grab energy from. Let's do a spirit blast then. Ah, it's a painting. We become part of the painting. Uh, okay then. <laughs> okay then, I'm going along. <laughs> yeah, he said he would tag along for now. Hey, Richard. Who? Is that behind me? Hello? What was that for deeper inside? It sounded like it came from behind, but it might just be me. Heed me not, I am just then an observer. You can't catch me. Nice park. What? Hey, wait up. Is this the park of Niwa? When it was blooming a bit more. Less airy, more Come beautiful. On, slow poke. Yet here, Thomas is just you go? not caring and just walking all emotionless, uh, observing, of course. Here, I'll try to bring more tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. I can't tell you how much this means to me. So, someone who needed food and drink and nutrition, who couldn't get it on their own. So Richard was helping someone out here, possibly as a secret. Am I going in a circle? Yes, I am. Such a maze. <laughs> like, obviously, a very. It's built like a maze. What's but this? What is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. Uh-huh. I guess we will not poke into this business. Now I'll be wondering. Something important <laughs> to her. This way, silly. Hmm. Rose? Rose! So it's something from very long Over ago. here! When Richard was still a child. Because I'm assuming it's from Richard's point of view. There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Yeah, it's a mace. Hey, it's what they do. <laughs> I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Hey! 
Nice. All those pretty flowers over there. Hey. Ooh. You see that? A storm is coming. Hmm. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. The thing on top of that structure looks like oh, someone's standing there, but I guess it's just <sighs> part of the structure. Cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? A photo of the storm? Well, a painting, I suppose. Where do we go from here, Richard? Do we leave? Do we leave this room? Is there something else you want to show me, Richard? You know, this sort of reminds me of Harry Potter when Voldemort tries to penetrate Harry's mind to to learn about him. Something's not right. Well, oh, who is he? He's he's someone who can take care of us. But. I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. I wonder if the light flickering is reacting to me, because I'm, I don't really belong here. Rocking around in the memory. In the memories of Richard. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Are you talking to me or someone in the memory, like Richard? Dad to Richard. Hey, where did it? Oh yeah, I guess we don't use the knife anymore. We used it once, and never again. <laughs> that thing. Founder, seventeen eighty three. Cherry cordial. Some sort of cherry bear then. Cherry bear is nice. Wait, there was something else there as well. Hmm, I, can, I can't look at the pictures. It's taking so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you want a drink. Useless, just like his mother. Oh come on now, that's a very useless. Could you say? Me a drunk? Yes. Get the hell away but, with that! Are you a tentacle? <laughs> okay, now I can go back here. But why would you want the picture? I mean, this whole attitude speaks drunk. Let's try this then. Why the hell would I want that? You miss your daddy. Well, he ain't here. Oh, you are the one. Fucking charmer, that one. Yeah, you are the one who wants to take care of us. Having a brave heart is not enough. Well, what is then? Money? Fame? What's up here? Even calling mom useless. Ew. Where the book? I wonder why you would want this. Do book. as I say! Oh, uh, come on. Useless. Just like his mother. <laughs> oh, you little shit. What? I'll teach you some respect. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly went on there. <laughs> so, uh... Well, you can't hurt me anymore. What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> Is it bad? Or a 
Ouch, again. Ah. Uh. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. So we are... Gladly. We are sort of walking through Richard's footprints. The tentacle is representing the father, the, the, the figure who was taking care of us then. Poor Richard. Hey. Okay. Oh, I, I just absorbed that energy. I wanted to conf um, comfort the poor memory of Richard. So who no. was that guy? Mommy! Hold on, mommy! I'm coming! Oh, oh no 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 no. Oh Have any energy left? No! Slowly coming. Hang in there, memory. No. <laughs> Sounds like someone's <laughs> taken advantage of. You couldn't protect her. Can't protect anyone. Come on, Richard, it's not your fault. Gone. Forever. You'll never be him. Never. You never want to be ever, him. Ever. Little shit. Worthless. Useless. Now, Richard is just adapting that sort of mindset. From the fathery figure. Right, so what painting do we have here? After the storm? Again, but not the same time. Hmm. Richard! Who is that? Is that a... Ah, the thing which was important I to her. I should be going. I'm sorry. It's alright, Rose. We can finish some other time. Richard, where are you? H Hello? Richard, come out! Come now, Richard. Someone's calling for you. This is the thing they wanted to keep safe. Some sort of jewelry. Which I'm not sure if I would call this safe at this point. It's just laying there. But again, it's a mashed up memory. This isn't funny. Richard! Is that a path I could go? No, it just was a tiny opening. There you are. Oh, hey. I waited for you by the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. I don't like being alone.
slightly decayed, sure you're but all right? so pretty. I said I'm fine. Hey, if something happens, you can tell me. The vines are taking over the place. Just let me get the hell away from me, Richard. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. How about your daughter? I suppose you mean. Maybe you will see something that changes that thing. Alright, let's head out again. I suppose we will be welcomed Mommy? into another area. What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. Who? But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. Where to uphill? Ah, to get this man. To bring him to justice. For abusing his position. What the hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! What are they doing? Justice is not the same as torture. Justice is not always the same as killing. What are they doing? Collaborator. Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. Denounces or otherwise acts against his compatriots. First house on the left, right next to the river, with the old cherry tree in the front. They're hiding them in the pantry, under the floorboards. They let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food. The friend in the maze. It's best to come at night. Oppressor. What were they doing there? Like, why would this... It sound, almost sounds like... I don't know, the Jews during the Second World War? That they would be caught? You only had to help them secrets? Or otherwise... They were hunted? Like, I, I don't know, maybe that's just a wild mess of impressions I have right now, but it sounds... Exactly, we're about to uncover something extremely cruel. Now, for some energy. Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Isn't that a juice cross? No, 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 I, I must be way off. I was just using the juice as an example during the Second World War, but... Maybe I'm actually onto something. Maybe that's not just a coincidence. Now I'm... Genuinely interested. Oh, oh God! Swiftly punish. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Well, <sighs> their sarcasm is very chilly. All the energy is gathered from either extreme sorrow and sadness, or by death. Okay, that's just a reflection in light. I thought it was a point of interest. Hmm. Release death. This is getting tedious. Rose! Where are you? Oh, 
Sorry. I just saw the tentacle too late. I mean, this is Poland. Poland was the first to be invited by Germany. And it's even where the biggest of concentration camps used to be, so... Who knows, but again, I'm probably way, way, way off. Please, come out! Lots of blood. That hints that something happened to the poor girl. If my theory is correct, then sadly that will be a negative. Gross. So the roses are symbolizing rose. Withering roses means a withering rose. He took her from me. Maybe I have to get rid of all of these tentacles. Come on, hit me again. Oh, we can run faster now. You took her from me! Uh -huh. Looks like something similar I saw earlier, like just a lot of doodle scribbled over. Possibly symbolizing death. Maybe Richard's trying. <laughs> oh, footprints. Footprints. And they stop there. Let's see if they continue a little bit down there. They do not. So what is this? They start there. There's quite a short trail. All right, let's have a look around. Maybe I'll see the footprints again. Further down. Yeah, here they are again. Then I'm on the right track. Yep. And then here. That her ghost running off of them. No, I help. No. Everyone's something. Don't be harsh on yourself. You go enough in it through enough hardships as it is. Another tentacle, but not for long. I'm not sure if I have to destroy them all or not, but I'm gonna try my best to anyway. Oh. Oh. 
this is it. Are you what Richard is hiding? What is that? Richard sees it too? You're not Rose? Is that you? Why do you drag Lily into this? So wait, was Lily Thomas's daughter? He was, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need some more spiritual energy to go up against that thing. And it seems to have detected my presence. Uh, let's get this over with. Uh, uh, it seems to be a bit spooked. It's a bit uncertain if it wants to go against me. Doesn't quite attack me right away. Seems to be backing off. Feels a bit threatened. Oh, there's a spirit well down there. So to speak. Oh, you're just stuck in this all madness. What happens if I... Richard? Help! Somebody! Please! But help. Richard is not dead. Over here, kid. Mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me. Monster, you say? And what does this monster look like? Himself. Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get out of here. It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. Uh, what? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, kid. I know you tried to run. Die. Get your hands off me! But as long as you are here, the beast will always find you. Richard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> Thomas? Who the hell are you? That's what he did. His whole life hiding. Instead, he chose to rot in this godforsaken 
Suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your own soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am. I died. He ripped me apart. He burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend. A monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. Set the house from the start, maybe? This time... It wasn't just a feeling. It was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas... Was he... Part of my own past? Sure sounded like it. <sighs> and then something clicked. <sighs> that girl. It's me. I had a feeling about it myself. It looks like it was taken here. At Neva. Oh, shit. The red house. Whatever it is, I can feel it out there. Like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. Well, Richard could be mistaken, mistaking us for the girl at the Red House. He did say that we seem quite similar. But let's see. <laughs> 